I know I made a video saying that I wasn't gonna get every skin anymore, and that is still true. I'm not buying every skin that comes into my shop. But if I don't already have a skin that's like half decent for a brawler, then I'm going to get one. So for Chuck, he actually has a good skin now. This one looks sick. It's got all the effects, so I'm gonna get this one and probably never get another Chuck skin unless it's like a free one. So here we go. Desert Scorpion. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of stuff. That's pretty cool, man. Look at this. These two garbage ones and then the god himself. So my Chuck is still at 400 cups because I cannot be bothered to play this brawler. I don't even know like where to play him. I'll try him. We'll try gem grab. And you guys have really been enjoying the stories that I tell. Or just the things that I say on this channel while I'm playing games. So today's topic is my time in high school. Which it's not the crazy. It's actually a very boring topic in some ways. But I think it might be interesting to some people. Maybe even a little bit relatable. But all throughout school. I have always been like ungodly average with my with my grades. Some classes I would do pretty decent in, other classes I would borderline fail but just about never actually fail. Like I'd have like a the lowest possible score I could have with without failing basically. Uh, my team is actually getting rolled by this Angelo bro. Where is he? Yeah, get over here, bud. Yo. Uh -oh. I just want to make a big square with my shit. There we go. Don't kill. Ooh, dude, what is my Angelo doing? <laughs> Come on. All right. Let me put that down. All right. Their Angelo is definitely better than, than our Angelo, if that wasn't clear already. Here we go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Oh, I need a fourth one. Or do I not have that star power on? I don't think I do. R.I.P. Come here. Come here. Oh my lord. I'm sorry. I'm not even telling this story right now. That was just so crazy. <laughs> okay, so... I, I have always been, like, really bad with my grades. And I didn't really ever know why. More recently, especially, I've been made kind of aware that I probably have something like ADHD. And I've probably always had it. I never looked into it uh, growing up at all. I just knew some kids who had it and they were always super hyper. And that that's really all I knew about it, right? But more recently, some friends are like, you know, you probably have this because of just things that like I like act acting wise. I don't I don't know what the fuck to call it, but like I just have a lot of the the shit that goes along with it like to a pretty good level where it's kind of obvious that I probably have some form of ADHD whether it's like a little bit or a lot who knows I've never went to get it diagnosed but I'm fairly certain that if I did then it like it would be diagnosed like it's it's very crystal clear that I that it's I'm like I'm not completely normal it's not like ADHD is the worst thing in the world it's just is uh it makes it harder to like pay attention to shit especially if you don't care about something it is very hard for me to pay attention to something that i don't care about like borderline impossible even if i'm purely listening everything will go in one ear and out the other and that is exactly what happened with school there were some classes where i was generally interested and i would i would do great like i would get an a in the class, especially in English, I love learning about the English language. I just really like writing and I did so well. I got I got a college credit in English that I'm never going to use because I didn't go to college. I love that. But most of the classes like science or math, I was I always had like a D or a D minus just so close to failing because I just couldn't listen. I physically couldn't listen. I would get so distracted whether I'm like doing something like drawing in my notebook or even just like, oh, hello, wait, no, wait, hold on, I'm still alive. <laughs> even if I wasn't drawing in my notebook or something, I would, uh, I just couldn't listen. Like my brain would just be thinking too much. And that's something that also really sucks is that like if sometimes if I'm trying to sleep, 
I can't. Like, it, it, the another thing about ADHD is being super restless. And if I'm not, like, deadbeat tired, and I don't have something to, like, distract my brain, I'm so bad right now. I cannot sleep. Because my brain will non-stop have thoughts, just random shit. Just, like, kind of talking in my head, just distracting me. Because there's nothing going on around me, so, like, my brain is trying to make something for me to, like, focus on. If that makes sense. Like, I wish I could just be, like, super calm and collected all the time and not just be always thinking about something. Because if I'm ever just, like, even just, like, having a normal conversation and I'm not doing something else that feels, like, at least somewhat productive, I feel like I am wasting my time and I just cannot focus on what I'm doing. Get wrecked. Get fucked. Oh my god, their whole team is dead. GG, that's gonna do it. Let's go... So that's how it was for, like, most of high school for me. Like, I just could not focus on fucking anything. Like, it was actually so bad. Get rolled. We're actually just better. Dude, Chuck is actually, like, not that bad. He's actually pretty good. But besides, like, academics and not being able to, like, listen in class, no matter what, which, which also has been a thing since, like, the dawn of time. Since, since I was, like, a little kid in, like, first grade, I've always had that problem where I just cannot listen to something that I'm not interested in. So I, it's always been a thing. It's always been a problem. I just never knew like what the root cause could have been. And maybe I should just go get it like diagnosed because I'm again, I'm like 99% sure that if I tried to get it diagnosed, it would work because it is very blatant. But like, I don't want to use it as an excuse for anything. And in some ways, ADHD, ADD, whatever can actually help you a lot because the difference is between being normal, I guess, is like, if you are interested in something, you get laser focused on it, and you just don't want to do anything but that one thing, which is very good, especially if you're like on a grind like YouTube. It is actually insanely good. Or if I'm like, like, let's say in school, working on a project that I genuinely find interesting, I will knock it out really fast, like within the first few days, because I will just be so focused that I will know exactly what I need to do, and I will just get it done. And I'll be done, like, a week in advance. Okay, I'm horrible right now. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, like, especially, like, in English, I sometimes had my projects done. This is a horrible place to be going. Why are you going to back to the top, Chuck? This is why I can't play as Brawler. It's so unpredictable. I don't really understand it. I was hoping that it would take me down to the bottom, but I guess I wasn't looking at my poles good enough. Hello. Okay. This is fine. Nice. Uh-oh, I'm dead. But yeah, I think that being able to be this focused helps me a lot with YouTube because... Especially in the early days when I needed to be on the grind to grow my channel to a point where it was sustainable. I would just spend hours on it. And especially when I'm like editing or something. I can edit for hours and just never even take a break to just like stand up. I can just... Laser focus until I'm done. It's a very good thing. But yeah, now I should move on to like other stuff besides focus and academics. I've been yapping about this so much. So in my last video, I talked about uh, being like the chubby kid in school. And therefore, I had a lot of like social anxiety about just like how I looked. I didn't like people looking at me, which was like probably the thing that ruined school the most for me because I never wanted to like go to a social events or anything like that. I especially never wanted to get into dating. I didn't even get close to dating anybody. That was completely by choice. I know there were a couple people that were actually like pretty flirty with me at times, but I just did not even reciprocate at all. Even if I found the person interesting, which like, you know, whatever, like that's, it is what it is. That's just how it was. I was not ready to date when I was in high school, just like mentally or, and I, I felt like physically, especially just like I, I just felt like I shouldn't. Dude, Angelo is so wild. What do we do? I can't even approach. He's actually obliterating my team right now. All right, let's try to go in. I think Larry got his nerfs, didn't he? Oh, huge. Please. I'm dead. He hit me once, bro. That tick is so dead, he can't escape. So my social life in high school was horrible. 
But in a way, I think it was fine because like I'm one of those people who like I have my my friend group, and I just kind of stick with them. Like I don't really see a reason to like go to clubs or go to bars and meet a bunch of new people. Like when I already have a friend group that I'm comfortable with. Okay, we're gonna lose if I don't go in, so I just gotta wing it. Come on, baby. Yes. Okay, that was good. Come on. What the tick had just died to nothing. What just happened? Did anyone see that? It just blew up. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, we go. That's really not okay. I'm dead, Tick. You need to grab these. That's so unlucky. Put the head down. He's dead. No. I don't. I don't know if Larry's nerfs came out yet, but he is not doing so hot. Okay, he escaped. Oh, we have so many gems. What happened? I've been talking too much that I just didn't even know what happened here. I don't know when he got those gems. Wanna put a thing down right here? You're dead? Oh yeah, baby. There it is. I think I accidentally clutched up without even realizing. Alright, I feel like I need to chill and just play showdown because gem grab is way too intense for me to focus on what I'm trying to say here. But I feel I feel like I've already said like most of what I need to say. Like the the only other things that I could really mention is like in America at least. Kids are expected to, like, have a car and have their license when they're, like, 15, which is kind of wild, but I don't know. Like, some of my friends... Am I dead? <gasps> am I just dead? <laughs> I, I got hit one time in this match. I got hit by one singular bullet. Anyway, I feel like uh, I personally took longer than most people in high school to kind of like grow up or act my age I guess because I was just like a nerdy kid that's really all I did I just played video games I talked about video games I had friends who played video games I would play Smash Ultimate at the lunch table I would play Brawl Stars at the lunch table I would play Brawl Stars at the table while waiting for school to start like that was most of what I did in school is just play games which, to be fair, like, that's what I like doing, so, yeah, there's no way I'm even fighting that guy. That's what I liked it doing, so, you know, I did it, and... I just, like, didn't really know much about the world, or... I didn't even know how to do my laundry until I turned 18, I think, and moved out. Then I learned how to do my laundry. Dude, if I get one-shotted by Angelo again, I'm actually ending the video. <laughs> like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> I didn't know how to like drive a car. I was actually really scared to drive a car. I didn't know how to do my laundry. I didn't even know how to use a dishwasher. Just general shit like that. I had no idea. But the thing is, I moved out like r really quickly after high school. Like I turned 18 ish, 18, 19, and I moved out. So then I went from knowing like just about fucking nothing to suddenly. <laughs> having to learn everything at once about like just being an adult and you know fending for myself so it went from zero to a hundred like really quick and i feel like in general that was a pretty good thing but yeah it was just it was just crazy that i'm gonna die oh fuck <laughs> oh no <gasps> whoa no i got smashed by monkey i think that in general growing up even throughout high school until I graduated and moved out, I was uh, pretty sheltered, but it was kind of like a selective thing. Like I kind of just wanted it because I just, I just didn't want to really get into anything new. I didn't really want to learn that much yet. I was just kind of like chilling and going day by day, just waiting for school to end, honestly. That was kind of most of it. I was just waiting for high school to be over. Like, a lot of people say that you're gonna miss your high school days. I don't miss it at all, bro. Like, I don't really understand that. I mean, like, having to move out and everything is super stressful, depressing, everything like that. But, like, once you get past that point, it's so much better than being in high school, dude. I couldn't even imagine having to wake up every single day and just go back to school and learn shit that I do not care about.
I think that was the worst thing is I just didn't care about most shit and school does not teach you half the shit that you need to learn instead they just teach you shit that you might learn depending on what career choice you take like I am never going to use the information I learned in science class if I cared enough I would just research it on my own even math class if I needed it or if I cared enough I would research it on my own I don't need to learn this shit if I'm never gonna use it but I do understand that like it will help kids figure out what they want to do which makes sense it's just unlucky that for me nothing that I wanted to do anyways had anything to do with like most of what was in school now the reason I brought up like English and writing is because that was the only thing I was genuinely interested in that I thought like might actually be helpful for my future like if I went to college I would probably go for like an English major in one way or another. I don't know like the subdivisions of that or whatever, but I would probably do that and then find something to do with that. It was either going to be that or something art related, but now AI art exists and I'm also just generally not that great at drawing despite wanting to do it super badly. So at this point, yeah, it would just be like an English major and then I would just do something with that. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Can I, uh... Dead. Can I play one match without fighting a Cordelius? R.I.P. We've been fighting Cordelius Doug a lot because of my trophy range. Yeah, I did very good in English, very bad in everything else. And one thing in specific that's cool, did not mandatory- manda It was not mandatory for you- for kids to learn this shit about taxes, about, like, getting a house. Everything like that, the information was so bare bones, and we're getting scored on, the Doug just, whatever. But all the info about that kind of stuff was so bare bones, and not even required. Like, you had to take a certain course in a certain section of school, but if you didn't choose economics, you didn't have to do it, you know? So... Uh oh Oh, that's so unlucky. Doug, help. Okay, I was gonna say, like, are you gonna hit him, buddy? Oh, I'm so fucked. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. He's just spawn camping me when they don't even have the ball. But, yeah, like, I did take an, ec an economics class, and I think that included s some stuff about getting an apartment and whatnot. But the information was so bare bones that I could not, like, latch onto it. And then right after high school, I got an apartment anyways, and it, it, honestly, I didn't use a single piece of information I learned in that class, so like, what was even the point? Like, most of it didn't make that much sense, especially, like, looking back. I don't think there's a single chance we're scoring. Oh, get fucked. We're scoring, baby. We go. Get rolled. No. Okay, I just went from God to literally a loser. I just gave him a super. I'm gonna throw this on you. Okay, bad idea because they just killed my whole team. Dude, it seems very hard for Angela's to miss their shots. Yeah, I, I I don't think I learned a single thing about doing taxes. I just fucking cucked my whole team from that. I learned nothing about taxes, credit score, getting a car, getting a house, getting an apartment, being an adult. Nothing was taught about being an adult in high school, which is the craziest thing because you go from high school to being an adult. So like, what's the point if half the information that you learn in high school is completely optional and career-based? I, I just don't get it. Like, yes, there are some classes that, uh, that you can choose, but... Like, if you don't choose them early on, it's kind of too late because you're running out of time to actually choose the classes that you want. Like, I should have chose a class about computer building, but I just never did. And then, well, because what I wanted to do was just take the easiest class as possible, because I just wanted to, like, get out of high school. I just found it really boring. And just, like, yeah, I just didn't want to wake up at, like, 6 a.m. anymore. I was getting so tired of it. So I just took easy shit, because I was just like, okay, you know what? Most of this information isn't even helpful, and it'll never be helpful. So what I'm going to do is just, like learn this shit on my own after I graduate, which is what I did, and now I am at where I'm at, so I guess it worked out fine, but like, yeah, it, I don't know, it's just so pointless. All the information is so, like, outdated. It just kind of pisses me off how useless most of it actually is.
get fucked. We score. Alright, I'll end this video. It's just turning into me ranting about how shitty school systems are. At least where I am. It's just not that good. But yeah, that was a pretty quick game. That was probably the best match so far. If you enjoyed, uh, then subscribe. Hopefully where you live, school is actually better. And they give you mandatory classes about literally living life and not going to jail from the IRS for like tax evasion or something. Because... They just expect your parents to teach you that. What if you have neglectful parents? What if your parents just don't teach you? What if you don't see your parents that often or just whatever? That should be such a mandatory thing because if you don't do it, you're going to jail. Like that's so wild to me. So wild. There's probably an optional class for it, but like all the names of the optional classes are so weird. And I never got any info on them despite asking multiple times about like, Oh, what does this class do? What will be useful for my life in the future? All that shit. But yeah, that's going to do it. Subscribe. Uh, let me know if your school is better. <laughs> Please let me know because I, it would be great to know if schools are actually useful somewhere else in the world. But that's going to do it. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.